light as f I can't even. So it's Wednesday. I've got the day off. I'm scrolling through Wish because I got nothing better to do. You know, we've got Monster Hunter plushies. I scroll down, we got some anime clothing, and we've got our typical Wish sentimental jewelry. So I scroll down, and don't even ask me what that is, because I don't know. And then eventually, I come up on Wish's version of the G502, and uh, if you can see here, there's quite a, a bit of them, actually. Not even worrying about their views, I hit that buy button. Now with that added into my car, I just want to state I don't ever use Wish for anything. Let's be honest, we all know that Wish has a reputation of the crappiest products on the freaking face of the planet. But when I saw this, I had to buy it. I bought this not knowing what monstrosity Wish was going to send me, so uh, I was anxious to see what kind of outcasted abomination be waiting in the depths of my mailbox when it arrives. That way I can compare it to my actual G502 mouse and uh, yeah. Holy crap, it actually came in. There is the regular G502 mouse. That's what I normally use. So, that's it next to the box. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. <laughs> so the, uh, the actual mouse is heavier than the box. Um, oh man, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm just gonna tear this open and we're gonna see what they freaking placed in this bag. This definitely isn't the uh, official packaging because the uh, regular G502 does not come in this. There it is. Holy crap. Oh, look, it's actually wireless. There's the mouse. It does have the uh, RGB Logitech symbol on it, which is actually kind of surprising. So there's mine compared to the Wish version. So there's actually uh, a few differences. One of them is that, holy crap, is it cheap? It is like, man, it's, it, I don't even know. It is so light. That's really crappy. Let me just remind you guys, I paid the same for this mouse that I almost paid for this one. And this is the actual like official one. That's uh, oh man. I'm guessing this is a charger cord for it. Jeez. And then there's actually a lot of differences from what I'm seeing so far. Like, first off, you got this glossy, super crappy plastic that runs all along this mouse. And man, is it just freaking cheap. Another big thing is you look on the bottom side here. One of the things about this mouse that's so nice is that you can adjust the weight. So I'm going to show you on mine. This is my actual one. You just pop that back piece off. That's magnetized. And you got the weights in here that you can put in. Um, I don't have all the weights in here. You can see you place one there and one there. But yeah, that's uh, that was actually advertised on uh, on Wish that it does that. Looking at the photos, it looks like the actual G502. But uh, I guess not. You can actually see into the mouse. Oh man. This thing is so light. Another thing is the scroll wheel. And you can see there's a drastic difference. Oh man, like it is, it is very different. This button right here locks and unlocks the scroll wheel so that you, it can either go free like that, click it down and then it's like, and it locks after every notch. On this guy, that's plastic. This button doesn't do anything. So far, I haven't plugged it in yet. I have no idea, but uh, yeah, it doesn't do that. This thing is just cheap, but uh, yeah, let's plug it in and see how it works. Oh man, am I gonna get a virus plugging this into my PC? There it is, lit up side by side. Can you even change the color like you can on the other one? No? Where's, where is that button actually? That one, so that button changes it on my mouse. That button does I don't know what on this one. That's um, what does it do? Do these even work? I don't know what they're doing. They're not doing anything. My mouse is hooked up too. 
So it is missing a few buttons too. You can see on mine, I've got that. That's supposed to be, I guess, for FPS games, for sniping or something. I'm not sure, I've never used it. Um, it does have these two buttons though. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they do on mine either. Oh, wait. I don't think that's, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have those either. I didn't even know my mouse had those. You know, you never know how many buttons your mouse has until you buy a knockoff version to compare it to. It's from Wish. I mean, I wanna say I expected more, but I didn't, honestly. I knew what I was getting into. It does work though. I mean, if you're looking at my, my PC, you know, it does, it works good. Like a mouse would, $10 mouse or cheaper. It does basic functions. That's about it. I don't really know what else to say about this mouse. It's super cheap. The RGB is actually pretty close. It's not too far off. I mean, it's still, you know, a little bit cheaper, you can tell. I mean, right and left click aren't too bad. They're about the same quality as a regular mouse. They're like matte black. That feels the same, but everything else, terrible. Absolutely awful. Like, not even a star. I wouldn't even rate this a star. It doesn't live up to the name, I can tell you that. It definitely doesn't. But there's one more comparison I wanna make before I wrap this video up, which is probably the most important comparison out of everything I've shown so far. So let's get to it. Burning. Woo! <laughs> Rubber burning. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> That's awesome. I'd say the original takes the cake. How about you? Guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you want to see more content like this, smack that subscribe button if you haven't already. And so that you can join me on this journey of making content for you guys. So with that being said, you guys have a good one. And peace out. This is dollar store quality? Yeah. It is. It's definitely dollar store quality. <laughs> <laughs> you like cut yourself on the plastic here too. It's not even like rounded like that one it is sharp it's like sharp it is sharp you get straight up fillet of fish for that <laughs>